Good morning, everybody. We've got the new Kuhn Knight Pro Push HP 160 on the back of the 8235R, and we are going to be taking it out into the field. Now, Kuhn is going to come out and walk us around the unit and talk about it a little bit to talk about some of the things that I don't really quite know about it yet. So, let's head out to the field, and Johnny's going to run us through the unit and talk about the updates on this new prototype unit compared to the older model. It does say prototype. We just spread the first load with the Kuhn Knight Pro Push HP 160. And I've got Johnny here from Kuhn, who is going to walk us around the spreader since they know a whole lot more about the spreader than I do. So, uh, you want to kind of tell us a little bit about the uh, Pro Push? Yeah, sure. So, first of all, the Pro Push design here, and especially on this machine here, uh, in these colder temperatures, or really just for those customers that aren't looking to deal with apron chains. There's not one single chain on this entire machine. So there's no worry about apron breakage, uh, regardless of the conditions, freeze down, uh, wet material, anything. Uh, the push design basically is a wall up front here, pushing the material consistently through the back of the machine. Um, and as we talk about this machine here, for those customers that are familiar with the Kuhn Pro Push, the 2054 will look very similar to this machine. What we've done is we've added a foot of extension uh, for a, a 600 cubic foot capacity. So we went from that 500 cubic foot capacity up to 600, the largest uh, at Kuhn. And with that, we've made a couple improvements up front here. What you can see is the uh, orientation between the center of the hitch pin and the front of the, uh, the hose horn here gives us some more clearance for the quick hitch attachments on the back of tractors. Um, and really this is for that improved maneuverability as guys are coming in and out of the field and around their yards. And you can kind of see a little bit here the pusher that uh, this whole section right here will push the material to the rear of the machine as well. So we've used one of these pro pushes before, um, a hydraulic push spreader, and they work great. Uh, we've had great experiences with them. There's just the simplicity behind the design is what really makes them um, worth it. Yeah, and these, these machines have been, been around for, for quite a few years. They have been a really good seller for, for Kuhn in the manure spreader department and uh, continue to have very good success, exactly what you mentioned because of the simplicity uh, that I mentioned. So what you can see here is where we were able to gain some of that, um, that clearance up front was we were now able to mount our our cylinder back into the box a little bit to to gain some of that clearance up front by the hitch. It also provides a nice uh, little cone to push out any of that material uh, in the center of these two beaters here as well. We got 5 8 inch thick beater uh, flighting and hardened beater teeth for same as the 260. Yes, correct. same as the 260, correct? And uh, just trying to give that the best material breakup and the best spread possible. And so the other thing you'll notice is the uh, the poly on the inside of the box. So this is a poly laminate material, which is marine grade plywood sandwiched on both sides with poly uh, plastic type material. Really gives uh, the least resistance possible as, on that material as the pusher is pushing out the back. The, the plywood gives it the rigidity in the floor as well as in the sides uh, so that we don't have any waving concerns or when we're dropping heavy loads. Uh, into the box. We don't have any concerns with floor breakage uh, as well. So the last thing that I'll mention is this here part right here. This is the sequencing valve. This is very important for uh, basically all machines, uh, pro push machines, because if the gate gets accidentally left down, the pusher could potentially push it into the beaters causing a lot of damage or downtime that's yep. uh, not desirable. So the sequencing valve makes sure that the gate is all the way up allowing that pusher to go all the way underneath and clear the entire load without uh, any trouble. Yep. So we noticed after the first load, while we were trying to run it out, that we couldn't move the push with the gate down. We couldn't even pull it back, which is a good feature to have on a machine like this because right. people like us, <laughs> you know, <laughs> um, you can make those mistakes pretty easily, you know, right. without even thinking about it. It doesn't take much just to leave the D10 on and before you know it, you got to mount a whole new gate on your spreader yes. so now this spreader also has brakes on it um, does it have the option to mount any kind of scale on it yes yeah, so it does have the option to mount scales 
However, uh, like you mentioned on the apron box spreader, that one has the characteristics to adjust the apron speed. Yep. Here, again, because we can't have the gate down, we don't, and we, uh, we're, it's harder to get a consistent material flow with a controlled spread system. Okay. It's not, uh, it's not currently developed uh, in terms of something that we can mount onto here, similar to what we can on the uh, okay. on the apron. So provides more of an even flow with those aprons because it's got the the control to move the apron. Yep. Basically, whereas this is just pushing it out. Right. It's a little little different concept, uh, not quite as straightforward. So. Okay. Um, Yes, it does have scales so that you're able to see how much you're putting down and and just your your ground speed, but not the capability to move the ram dependent on okay. your desired application. Now with the 82, we are able we are able to adjust the flow to the gate so we can adjust the speed. Right. Um, but I imagine that might be something for you guys that could come in the future. But that's way far down the road, I guess. Yeah. Um, because it's just hard to know how much material is going out the back when you're pushing it from the front. But anyway, um, we're going to be using it to haul out manure up here, and I think it should get the job done. So, uh, thanks for coming up and uh, explaining the whole Thank you. how it works for you us. Bet. Kuhn is officially launching the HP 160 on January 6th, 2020, and that's when they'll start taking orders for this unit. As of right now, this is still an unreleased prototype. Um, but I can say that so far it's working really well for us. Now we are going to be using this to haul out down here where I'm at and uh, that video is going to be coming out on Sunday so be sure to tune in for that video to see the HP 160 and the PS 260 run side by side. They are both 600 cubic foot capacity spreaders um, however this one's a push and the other one is an apron spreader and uh, let me just say that uh, using them side by side they have been working awesome for us and this whole project we've done and the cooperation that we've done with Kuhn so far has saved us a ton of time because I could not imagine hauling out was down at Travis's place using our new idea spreader. Um, it just wouldn't have been possible. So um, thanks to Kuhn. Anyway, be sure to tune in on Sunday to see that video. Um, I've got awesome footage and I know you guys are going to love it. And um, yeah, with that, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out all of, our, all of our other videos. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, all how farms work. And with that, I'll see you next time.